Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, April 18th. It's tax day. <laughs> we did our taxes months ago in um, January. <laughs> so get your taxes done, I guess, by today. Anyways, this is Stitcher Library number something. I forgot to look to see what number this is. I haven't done very many. But anyways, this, this pattern I've been wanting to make for a while. I've had it in my library since fall of 2019. It is a Heidi Yates pattern, which is Snappy Tots. She does a, um, what does she call it? It's like a gift pack or something like that. Usually every spring and fall, uh, where she makes cute little pro uh, crochet projects that you can make up really quick and use as gifts. And uh, I've participated in quite a few of them. And you pay, usually it's like $4 if you do it early. I think there's one going on right now. And then if you, if you, if you join late, it's $10, but you get like five or six patterns. Um, that she releases over time. Anyways, this was part of one of those uh, sets in 2019, and I wanted to make this for our car, um, to put in the car up near where I sit always on the passenger front seat, uh, to have these two items handy to grab for us and the kids. So it is called the Handy Tissue Holder, I believe, <laughs> but it's also got hand sanitizer spot. So here's mine. So it's got a little place here to put one of those little bags of tissues. And then it's got a little slot here to slide in some hand sanitizer. So I think that's really neat. And she has the, where you can do multiple different handles. You can put like hardware on it to make it clippy. Or um, you can make it like to where you tie it. And this, um, I made it long so you could do it to where you put it like around the car seat. And then you um, put it through itself so that it's attached like that. <laughs> onto the neck of the car seat or like the door handle thing or something you know something in the car <laughs> um to have these two items handy to grab for me mostly because um like if i'm needing a hand of tissue to whoever sneezes <laughs> or if we like change a diaper on the road and we need some hand sanitizer or something like that so i thought that was cute i didn't want to make it forever and i finally just made it <laughs> so i'll point to stitch library so i used the yarn i used is uh, Premier Just Yarn bought from the Dollar Tree Worsted and the color is what is the color? Azure 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 how you say that it's it's the Spanish word I believe for blue <laughs> so it's blue uh, It is a worsted weight medium and the the ball had 131 yards in it and I only it only used maybe Maybe a third of the ball to make this pattern. It was really easy. You basically make a um, big rectangle and then you sew it in such a way to where it leaves a little pocket for the tissues and then a little hole to slide in hand sanitizer or you know anything you wanted to put in there i might make something similar to this because i wanted to keep some band-aids in the car we have a first aid kit in the car but i'd like to have some like band-aids where it's quick to grab for like when we're at parks and stuff and jesse gets a scrape knee or something because we have a first aid kit but it's in like the pocket behind the seat <laughs> but i guess that's fine but this is just going to be handy up front for me. So I'm going to loop it around something. I haven't figured out why I'm going to loop it around yet. <laughs> but, um, and have it to where I can grab it. I used an H hook, which is a 5 millimeter, And it is a, I don't know if you can see it, but it is a nice different stitch. It's not just like solid something. Um, it's like a textured stitch. Can't get it all away because it is a paid for pattern. <laughs> but, um, I liked it a lot. It worked out really quick. I made this in maybe a, maybe an hour, hour and a half. One day, um, uh, when was that? It was either Friday or Saturday. I can't remember. I think it was Friday night. I sat in the floor and made this. And uh, got it done. So, yeah. I did chain more for the handle than the pattern called for. I think the pattern called for 45 chains. And I did um, 55 because I wanted mine to be good and long enough to hang it in the truck. <laughs> and because um, there's, there's a handle I want to hang it on, but I don't know if it'll go there. I have to wait until I get back in the truck to see. <laughs> but... Yeah, so that is my Stitcher Library, one of them. I forgot what number I'm on. But this one's been living in my library for what? 19, 20, 21, 22, three years-ish? Two and a half years? Because it came out in fall of 2019. So, I finally made it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I used my cute little frog hook, my H hook, which is 5 millimeter. This is a Susan Bates hook that's had polymer clay put on it. I got this at an Etsy shop years and years ago when we first moved in here. So it was at least four and a half, five years ago. I don't remember what shop I got from. I'd have to go look. 
I don't even know if it's open anymore, but this particular shop used to do $5 mystery hooks. So I used to buy them. That's all my polymer clay hooks just about are from there. I got a couple for Christmas for my sister and I've gotten a few in the mail over the years, but most of them are the $5 mystery hooks that that, that Etsy shop used to do. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> that's my sister library. So I will leave this pattern link down below if you want to check it out. I think she's selling it separate now because used to the gift events you could only get those patterns if you participated in the gift events until like a few years later so i think she just recently put these ones up to where everybody else could purchase them she does that with her uh, limited edition patterns too like the people who buy them are the only ones who can have them for like a year or so and then they release to everybody else but um i like this i think it's gonna be real handy and i just happen to have a little bottle of sanitizer and uh tissues that i've got i got somewhere <laughs> in a gift or something and uh, so it's perfect to use it up. So yeah, that's what I um, decided to pull out of my library to make. I have a whole list of patterns from my library <laughs> that I want to make soon. But I really have thousands of patterns saved, so I'll never make all of them. But um, I'll have to be picky and choosy, I guess. But I'm going to hop off here and get this video up for you guys. And then I'm going to go sew. Because I'm almost done with some bags that are going to be going into the shop. Probably Wednesday. Possibly tomorrow, Tuesday, I don't know. If I get them done today, I might pop up later in another video announcing that they're going to come out tomorrow. Who knows? But um, I just got to close them up. They're all ready to be um, closed up, and then they'll be done. But, yeah, so I'm going to hop off here. Like I said, this will be linked below if you want to check it out. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.